In Windows Server 2016, there is an easy way to enable remote access for remote desktop, and I'll show you how to do it. So what we're going to do is go down to the Start button, and you can type in Search, put in Control Panel. And then we're going to go to System. So click on System. And then we see the option for Remote Settings. Let's go ahead and click on that. And we see a tab that says remote. So by default, it's going to say to not allow remote connections to this computer. We're going to choose to allow it. And then we also have the option to choose just computers running uh, remote desktop at network level authentication. So the reason we don't want to enable the network authentication is if we want to remote into this server or computer from a computer that's not in the domain, that's not a member of our domain, uh, then we have to make sure this box is unchecked. Uh, that's because sometimes you have network professionals, IT people, they're not a part of your domain, but they need to get into your server. So if you check this box, that means that they have to be a member of your domain in order for that to work, and we don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and uncheck that. Go ahead and click Select Users, and we can see by default the administrator already has access. From here, you can click Add, and you can type in anybody that you want to add into there. So if you want to add in an individual user, you can just put in the name of that person. If you want to add a group, you can type in, say, domain users, for instance. Click Check Names, click OK, and now we've added access to not only the administrator, but any domain user as well. And when we're done, we can go ahead and click Apply. Now, by default, it's supposed to automatically add in a firewall rule, but it doesn't always work. So the way to troubleshoot that is we go to All Control Panel Settings, Items, and then click on Windows Firewall, and then we click on Advanced Settings, and then we go to the inbound rules and then click your mouse anywhere on the, uh, the list there and go ahead and type the letter R and it'll take you down to the remote area. So what you want to look for is remote desktop. So we see remote desktop uh, for a couple different ones. One's for TCP, one's for UDP. Go ahead and, and make sure that that's enabled by right-clicking on it and choosing Enable. Now, in this case, it did actually set it up correctly, so I don't have to do that. But if you don't, if you don't see the green check mark, go ahead and choose to Enable. Also, go into Properties and go to Advanced and choose to allow... To, the, to use edge traversal. So that way, if you're in a different subnet trying to get into the server, then you'll still be able to get into it. Because by default, you can only get to it from the same subnet that you're in. So that's how you enable remote desktop in Windows Server 2016.